Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen, all around the world. Many new things coming around in 2018. The Winter Olympics, the FIFA World Cup, the Buffalo Bills go into the playoffs, but most importantly, it's time for a new season. Welcome to the Nextera Energy Resources 250 in the NOF SRL Camping World Winter Series. Hello once again everyone, I am Mari Sakala. Oh my goodness, we are ready, the day is finally here. If you missed us the past few days, let's recap you what's been going on. As I turn down the music. Alright, so qualifying was a wild one. If you missed it last night on the poll, it's going to be the number 83 of Kenny Stremme, and then starting in second is the 66 of Marcus Acci. You saw those two drivers working with each other to take the, the front row spots. Qualifying was also crazy as we did have some, some blown engines with the 49 of David Rad, the 38 of Jay Rodriguez, and the 0 of Riley Spurlytube. Spurlytube did not make the race, however though David Rad and Jay Rodriguez will be going to a backup car. Also, in round one, just a few minutes to go, Reagan Whitlock, a part of Group One, flipped his car in qualifying, had a flat right front tire, and when the car slid down the banking, all the gravity was forced on the left side, flipping the car upside down. No, da like very little damage at all, cosmetic damage. No backup truck for Whitlock today. Whitlock, by the way, will be starting in 11th position. So we are just about ready to go. I'm loading up NR2003 right now at the moment. Let's give you the rundown for today. It's 25 laps around the 2.5 mile circuit. I just got to get the playoff points real quick. I thought I had that set, but I did not, I'm guessing, it turns out. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're just delayed by a minute real quick. But we got a good one for you. Previous winners of the in the field in the field, Isaac Nichols driving the 32, qualified 40th. Also, as well, watch out for the um, defending champions of the series as well. We had the 51 Cody Prince, season one champion, who starts in fourth, and we also have the 36 of Jeff Bray, the defending champion, who starts in the tenth position. So in case you are new to the series, let's show you the schedule for the season. There you see it. And we start things off at Daytona, then we go to Atlanta on the 3rd, the 4th, we go to Kansas, the 6th at Charlotte, the 7th at Dover, the 8th at Texas, the 10th at Gateway, and 10 days from now is the final race of the regular season at the Eldora Speedway. Then the playoffs begin at Michigan, then go into Las Vegas and Chicagoland, that's round one. Round two takes us to Texas, Phoenix, and Talladega for the round of six. And then the championship ends at Homestead. Alright, so I got my playoff points set up right now. We are just about set to go here at Daytona. Let's load it up. Resume the saved race. So this is technically not stages because stage racing is tough to import into score four. So we just do playoff points, which I calculate myself. Drivers to your cars. All right, so let me just accelerate through the through this. So we're just about 15 seconds away from the green flag. I'm ready. The fans are ready. The drivers are ready. I think it's time to go trackside and get the most famous words in motorsports. Here is the command. Drivers, start your engines. The 42 engines are all fired up for today. Let's give you the starting lineup. On the front row for the next era, Energy Resources 250 as the 42 trucks roll off two by two. First off, you've got the number 83 of Kenny Strummy next to him, the 66 of Marcus Sachi, those two drivers worked together in qualifying to get the top row. Row number two, who he was also part of Strummy and Sachi's draft, the 23 of Max Anderson making his debut, and next to him, 
It's the 51 of Cody Prince, the Season 1 Winter Series Champion. Row number 3, you have the 88 of Zack Ryan making his Winter Series debut. And next to him, the 99 of Elijah Gordon. He knows how to get it done here at the Daytona International Speedway. Two wins here, swept them all in the Direct TV Fall Series, making last lap passes. Row 4, returning to the series, the 74 of Tony Green, part-timing this season. And next to him, it is the number 50 of Carter Friesen, making his debut in his own team for Friesen Motorsports. Row 4, the 47 DJ Rita 9 charter, and next to him, the defending Winter Series champion, the 36 of Jeff Bright. And in row number 6, the 22 of Reagan Whitlock and the 02 of Steve Morgan, both making their winter debuts. Today's race scheduled for 25 laps, 62 and a half miles, playoff points awarded at laps 5, 10, and 25, where you get 5 playoff points. Once the pace truck goes down pit road, it's going to be in the hands of Kenny Strummy and Marcus Sachi. The first race in the Camping World Winter Series. The next day we're out of GV Sources 250. It's green. Let's do this. They were just three wide for the top spot. The 88 of Zach Ryan takes the race lead away, and he is going to lead lap number one. Three wide in the second position. Here comes the 22, Reagan Willock. You see DJ Reed up in the middle. We're already trying to see that third middle line created. And as we saw in the Christmas Spectacular, we saw a lot of two wide racing. But now with this track, everyone's going to be very aggressive because they know that lap five, a playoff point is in the line, especially if you win, you use those playoff points to your advantage. Down the back stretch, here comes the 33, Chandler Caudill for GMS Racing, making his NOF SRO debut. Look at the inside of Reagan Whitlock. He's got no draft, though. You see the high line's working really well with Whitlock and Stapleton. And now it looks like the 12 of Derek Hamill will try and get up there and push that 33 to the lead. But Hamill wants to get the lead himself. They're going to go three wide at the line. It is Whitlock. Derek Hamill for Rick Ware Racing in the number 12, non-charter Chevrolet. Non-charters can get it done easily here at Daytona. This is the track where anyone can win it. See, we, have, we still have a full 42 trucks in one single pack. Off of turn number two, now looking to the inside is the 46 of Patrick Smith, and behind him is the friendly Summer Series champion from season number three, Stuart Graham, looking to the inside, three wide. Got on the apron barely for a moment. He's got the top spot with help from Diego Yepes off of turn number four. And now the, a lot of three wide racing going on right now in the pack as Yepes looks for the lead with help from Edwin Mendez. Stewart leads him at the line. And now Edwin Mendez is going to take it three wide to the inside. He's a three season veteran and an on charter number six purchase from Norm Benning Racing. Behind him making his Winter Series debut. That's the 20 of Eli of Noah Eli, and then Eli Hoffman, who's also making his Winter Series debut in the 89. Same for Donovan Duthet. Eli to the inside, and Mendez pulled to the fake up high. The slingshot to the inside. Duthet to push him, and he's going to go to the race lead. Duthet currently running second, and he got uh, someone that had to start at the back of the pack, already up to third. David Rutt looking for the race lead, and now we come to the final lap for the first playoff point. They are 3x3 three three for the race lead. Michael Canto pushing the 49. Let's see what Canto could do. Anyone in that top 5 could win, the, win this first playoff point of the season. Canto, Ferris, and Newman. That's your top 4. Here we go. Canto tries to look up the middle. He can't find a way to do it. Here comes Brian Ferris in the 27 to the inside. They're side by side for the second position. 
And that means Rhett's going to cut down low in front of the 27. And coming off of turn number four, the first playoff point in the Camping World Winter Series, it's going to go to the number 49 of Premium Motorsports, David Rat. Now the yellow flag does not come out here. We keep this race green. That's what's unique about us compared to NASCAR. The 16, Christian Vargas to the inside, also making his Winter Series debut, getting pushed by two Thorsport Motorsports drivers, and make that five Toyotas I see. You got Jake Rogers, Justin Zydell, Isaac Nichols, Benny Watson, and Marty Johnson. This is the battle for second, three wide to the inside, goes Isaac Nichols, the defending race winner. Took this race on a last lap pass away from Stuart Gratton. Coming to the line, it will be Vargas. Here comes Marty Johnson, the inside, looking for second. Let's take you on board one lap on the visor cam of Jeff Bright. As he is the defending champion, he gets full control of the visor cam. Looking to the inside on car number four. He is up to second in the, in the number 36 M3 Motorsport Chevrolet. It looks like dropped to the inside. That is a Toyota. I believe that is Cole Baker, if I'm correct, in the number 18. Look at your telemetry right here. That is Baker looking for second. But right now, Christian Vargas is showing the field. One is up. And look at the back swallowing up Jeff Gray. He's stuck in the high line. This is where you have to be on the low line at Daytona. Nice fixed camera view right there from our pit lane one. Three wide for the race lead. Here comes Steve Morgan in the 0-2 with help from Eric Monaco in the number one. Dropping down low, Steve Morgan to the point off of turn two. Battle for second. We've got Eric Monaco and DJ Reed. Two non-charter drivers. But then, look out, you have another driver that knows how to get it done at Daytona. Colin Denton, the Daytona 500 winner this season. Up to the third spot. Tristan Allen is fourth. Cody Prince is your top five right now. And the slingshot to the inside. Here goes Eric Monaco looking for the race lead. They're two by two in the top ten, top nine maybe. Tristan Allen to the inside. Three wide for the race lead. Almost got it done at Daytona in the DirecTV Fall Series driving the 96 for GMS Racing. Now this is Brad Kozlowski Racing's final season. They would love to have their final Daytona race end with a victory. Whether it's Allen or Duthat. And now this is where we see the front row come back to play here. You see Marcus Sachi up there in second. I see Kenny Streming the 83 on the low line. Max Anderson's up in the middle once again. Coming to the line for the final lap for the first playoff point. And now Sachi goes to the inside. And he's got help from Jaden Scott. Sachi thought about it for a moment. He wanted to go for it. Jaden Scott and Ethan Hoffman pushing the race leader, Marcus Sachi. Benny Watson up there in fourth. Denton's in fifth. Down the back stretch. Jaden Scott and Ethan Hoffman will work together going down to the inside. Hoffman wants to do it himself. Three wide for the race lead. For the second playoff point in the race. Is it going to be Ethan Hoffman? Or is it going to be the pole sitter? Kenny Strevy off turn four. Strevy's going to take try to take a look at the inside. No, he has second thoughts about it. Ethan Hoffman wins playoff point number two. So 15 laps to go at Daytona. This is a great race so far. Luckily, we have not seen, a, no, we have not seen any trouble yet. And now it is Thor Sport 1 2. Ethan Hoffman and Zach Ryan in third. That is the Fall Series champion this season, Zachary Fitzwater. As the drivers go down the back stretch, here comes Johnny Garner in the 24. Carter Friesen up there as well. Staying 2 by 2 for the race lead are the two Toyotas from Thor Sport Racing. Zach Ryan to the point, and here comes Carter Friesen in the 50. Friesen taking a look down to the inside with help from Nathan Stapleton. They are two by two for the lead in the first three rolls, and then it's three wide everywhere else back. 
the 42nd place car right now is a second behind the race leader. And now we go three wide for the lead. Nathan Stapleton to the point. This is not just Brad Kozlowski Racing's final race at Daytona. This is Red Horse Racing's final race at Daytona. They are leaving after this season due to lack of funds. In the turn number three, we got three wide for third here. Derek Hamill up to the third position with Tony Green in second. As the drivers come off of turn number four, here's the sink shot. Monaco looking underneath Stapleton. Hamill wants to take it three wide to the inside. At the lot, I think it was Tony Green, and it was the 74. Uh, at the halfway point here at Daytona, 25 laps scheduled. It may say 40 on the top of your screen, but that's just because in case we do green white checkers. We're the only offline league in, on YouTube that does overtime. We do not want, I do not like finishing these races under caution. I like finishing them under green flag conditions. Here's Justin Zydow to the inside on number 13. And the number 13 underneath the number 12 for the race lead. Zydow in his winter series debut. Three wide for second position. Edwin Mendez takes the, the runner-up spot. Going to be three wide here for the race lead. Here comes Patrick Smith to the inside. Help from Julio Caesar in the 87. Caesar, the season two Coke Zero 400 winner. And now Smith was trying to block the middle line. He comes back to the inside. Knows that has more momentum going down into the turns. Patrick Smith to the point. Caesar second. Hanley is third. Ferris trying to look to the inside for fourth. He's got he may have fourth right now. He wants the third position. Hanley looks for second spot. Hanley goes up. Caesar third. The Nemco Motorsports drivers are third and fourth. That's Caesar in the 87 yellow car up high. And the eight green car down the inside is Diego Yepes. Here comes David Wright in a 49 down low for second. Patrick Smith right now. He's got a good lead right now over those drivers that are three wide. In the turn and oh boy, watch closely here. I think we're going to go four wide here at Daytona. And yes, we are. Oh boy, it's not going to turn out good. Brian Ferris, Donovan, do that. Jul Julio Caesar and Cortez Newman down the backstretch. Four wide, never works at Daytona, turn three, it's Calamity Corner here at the Daytona International Speedway. And there it is, Edwin Mendez around with Carter, freeze into the number 50. Here's the big one. Johnny Garner is in it. Kenny Strummy is involved. A car a truck is up on its roof, and that is, I believe that is, I can't tell, it's a Chevrolet, it's Gallon Downey in the 57. No, Jay Rodriguez in the 38. And there's more trouble. Oh, big Lex. That is... That's, I believe, I can't, that's Yepes in the 8 and Caudill in the 33 as the first caution is out with 10 laps to go. And at the moment of caution, coming to the line, Zachary Fitzwater is the leader. So there's Rodriguez, Yepes, Gratton, Caudill, Friesen, there's Denton, Strummy, Gordon, Whitlock, Garner, Monaco, Vargas, Ferris, at least half the, at least a quarter of the field was involved in this one. We had two different wrecks, one in turn three and another one coming to the start finish line. All right, let's see if anyone comes down pit road. And we will have some takers. The entire field is coming down. We're going to have two drivers, maybe even three. The 20 of Noah Eli is going to play some strategy. So we have a lot of the drivers coming down pit road at the moment. Let's watch what happens. As the field comes in, Daytona, by the way, is a narrow pit road, so you gotta watch where you're driving here. Fitzwater's gonna go gas and goes here. Checking to see if any wrecks happen. It looks like no big wrecks are taking place for right now. Oh, watch out! Fitzwater nearly hits Tony Green. He will win the race off pit road, though. Anderson second. Reed is fourth. Who's gonna get fourth? It's gonna be Canto fourth. Green fifth. 
Rat 6, Battle for 7, that's Newman, Hanley is 8th, Hamill 9th, and Johnson is 10th. Oh! Oh! Anderson's fun! How in the world did that happen? He should be able to retain his possession, but that was weird. Oh, wow. DJ Reed, that's uncalled for. Totally uncalled for. DJ Reed being forced to go to the hall, being called to the hall or post race, gain a stern warning by race control for that one. All right, now we gotta focus on what what ha happened that caused the first caution. So this first view will be from the Goodyear blimp. Take it half speed, and there you see the four wide breaking out here. Are Ferris, Duthit, Caesar, and Canto, but that low line had a big run in turns one and two. So down the back, so she'll play it in full speed until we get into turn number three. Oh, wow, it wasn't a cause of the four-wide situation. Oh, we had two four-wides going on, that's why. Alright, so you see Friesen just gets very little room, gets into the six of Mendez. You see Gordon nowhere to go, Granton is in it. Look at the stack up here. There's Hoffman, I saw a cargo upside down. It was Jay Rodriguez in the 38, similar to what we saw with Reagan Willock who got involved. Garner is in it. Yes, that was the cause of it. Now let's see the other wreck that broke out here. Brian Ferris involved. Ooh, big lick from Diego Yepes. Or from Chandler Cotto on Diego Yepes. See how this one happened. Ah, this was that same four wide situation. Off turn four, Duthin it into the 27. Caesar's involved. There goes Hanley. Lose. Oh, he, did he save it? Oh my goodness, he did. What a save by TJ Hanley, and he's still in contention to win it. Zydell gets a piece of it. This is Caudill trying to avoid the wreck. The orange cone is involved as well. Let's watch these in real time. Freezing on the front end. And here's the other one in real time. Coming off turn four. Boom. 16, 17, 18, 19. So we'll have six to go when we get back to the green flag. And I don't think we can go anymore. Yes, we cannot. No, we can't watch any onboards for right now. Apologies for that. Because we're one lap to go away from the green flag. So out of the race, look at the drivers done for the day. Rodriguez, Gratton, Caudill, Yepes, Caesar, Baker. Well, that's not, not Caesar, excuse me. Um... Rodriguez, Grant, Caudill, Yepes, Monaco, excuse me, Baker, Hoffman, Zydell, Stremi, and Garner. Done for the day. Two drivers on the inside line. One lap down. It's going to be Carter Friesen and Elijah Gordon. I'm not too sure where the 99 is. He's still in pit road trying to get that race car fixed. Top nine stayed out that time. Noah Eli in command. Donovan Duth at second. Nathan Stapleton third. Isaac Nichols fourth. Benny Watson, 5th, Jaden Scott, 6th, Jeff Bright, 7th, Marcus Sachi, 8th, Colin Denton, 9th, and Zachary Fitzwaters, 10th. Max Anderson, by the way, was able to regain his position as we go back to green. That was, th that restart, by the way, was brought to you by Geico and our brand new restart zone for the season.
The top two cut in front of Carter Friesen, who does have damage. Looks like they could slow down the inside line here. Duthin and Friesen starting to pull away. Is Friesen going to slow down the low line once again? Yes, he is. Could help out Nathan Stapleton. But right now, this is all about Noah, Eli, and Donovan Duthin pulling away. Buddy Watson pulls down into pit road. He's got a problem. Five laps to go. Now, if a caution flag comes out, we will go into overtime. Jeff Wright looking underneath. Carter Friesen. He's, uh, he's in third. Stachi's in fourth. Scott's fifth. And now they can try and catch up on that draft. Go on board for the visor cam of Jeff Wright. Sachi going to the inside. And look at that draft. Oh, he puts the block on the 66. He had the draft on the 29. And that is how you do it, man. The top two, they'll put the block for right now. You see Scott's on the high line all by himself. Wright's going to take a look. Oh, Duthin's going to take a look as well. Three wide for the race lead. Coming up four laps to go. Jeff Bright has help from everyone else. Duthin and Eli don't have help. And the 36 truck goes to the race lead. Marcus Sachi, the outside front row sitter in second. And Fitzwater is up to third. Sachi to the inside for the race lead. Drivers two by two for right now. New leader of the 66, Nathan Stapleton to second. Jaden Scott third. Max Anderson is fourth after spinning out. Anderson wants the inside three wide. This helps out Sachi. Three laps to go. Now can Anderson get that big push he needs from Isaac Nichols in the 32. Let's go on board with the defending race winner. He's got the run. Max Anderson to the race lead. Oh boy, that's getting intense off turn two. Colin Dutton trying to look to the inside. Eric Monaco, or is that Tony Green? That's Tony Green looking for third. Unable to. Here comes Michael Canto in the 63. Up to fourth. Marty Johnson's up there with help from Patrick Smith. There are a total of, I want to say, if I'm correct, 22 trucks in a pack. Colin Dunton looking to the inside with two laps to go. He could be challenging Anderson for the race lead. And do I hear lap traffic? Oh my goodness, we do. Benny Watson could change the game next in turn two. But he's got, he is very fast though. Isaac Nichols rejected by Marty Johnson. Here goes Canto to the inside for the race lead. DJ Reed's up there as well in the, in the 47. Two by two in a turn three. Will Reed go to the inside? Yes, he will. Three wide for the race lead. Cortez Newman comes up there as well. Here they come off of turn number four. They'll see the white flag this time by DJ Reed in command. Benny Watson will determine who wins this race. Cortez Newman looks to the inside. TJ Haley wants to win as an odd charter. DJ Reed is an odd charter as well. As we're at the white flag brought to you by Credit One Bank. TJ Haley in command right now. Haley has help from Cody Prince. Watson's going to slow the low line down. Does this help out DJ Reed? Yes, it does. DJ Reed to the point. Michael Canto is up in second spot. He could try and get second. He could try and go for the win. They're stacking him up thanks to TJ Haley. Here comes Max Anderson. And the non charter going to win the next era 250. I think it will. DJ Reed in command. He's coming off of turn number four. DJ Reed has the battle for second behind him. DJ Reed wins it at Daytona. Max, the top two finishers all made their debuts today. How about DJ Reed? The non charter 47. Going to the playoffs. How about that? That's the upset, right? That that could be the upside of the season, right there, man. DJ Reed.
It was a last lap pass for the win. As Steve Morgan now finishes the race. Let's show you how that was done. So we'll watch the final lap from the blimp here. Cortez Newman out in front, but here goes TJ Hanley inside. He's got, no, DJ Reed had the lead for right now. Hanley has the lead, so technically this is the last lap pass. So Reed goes out in front, and there goes that high line. And then into the turn, Anderson looks for second, and that's all DJ Reed needs for the race win. Hi, Dad. Good. So let's show you the top... So let's show you the official results right here. DJ Reed is first career on OFSRL win. Max Anderson second. Ronnie Johnson third. Michael Canto fourth. Patrick Smith fifth. TJ Hanley sixth. Cody Prince seventh. Noah Eli eighth. Jeff Bray ninth. Cortez Newman is the top ten. Show you the rest of the results right here. There they are. Now, even though DJ Reed got that stern win, I think he may have an easier punishment because he did get the win. But DJ Reed is in the playoffs. Alright, so we're going to save these results right here. Okie dokie, so now let's get things set for the playoffs. Alrighty. So, first things first, we're going to open office. We're going to make a new file here. Oh, not that. Oops. By the way, welcome to the uh, post race show. Brought to you by Monster Energy. If you intentionally wreck the six carter, yes, you will. I got to go your guys' chat, see what you guys said. Holy cow. 1.5 messages a minute. That's awesome. All right, so that new file folder was created. We're gonna, so. Save as. Winter playoff points. Alright, finally, let's open this up. Open these two files right here. DJ Reed with his first. That's saved right there. Okie dokie. 
That's all set there. That's all set there. All right, now we can go to score four. The official, the official points calculator of the NOF SRL. We'll maximize that. Put it in full screen. Browse. And we'll make it the earliest one. There it is right there. I know it says not found because we can go down here and they told us right there. One caution today for four laps. We had 16 different leaders in that race, 17 lead changes. Kyle Busch Motorsports, the winning team of today. DJ Reed, obviously the rookie of the race, and the manufacturers, Toyota wins it. Kenny Sterling, the pole winner. Noah Eli led the most laps with seven. Michael Canto gained 36 spots. Kenny Sterling dropped 33. Carter Friesen, the diehard racer. I want to see real quick the results. I just want to look at one more thing real quick. All right, that's what I thought. Okie dokie. Let's generate the files, and we'll go into the standings. And there you see the seed, the top eight right now would be in the playoffs at the moment. It would be DJ Reed followed by Max Anderson, Marty Johnson in third, Michael Canto fourth, Patrick Smith fifth, TJ Hanley sixth, Noah Eli seventh, and Cody Prince is eighth. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Let me go back onto the webcam here. Alrighty. Did I? Uh, I don't think I did it. There we go. It should be there. There we go. We got it now. All right. So final thoughts on today's race. A great race to watch at Daytona like usual. And how about that upset right there for DJ Reed, a non-charter driver. We saw this last season in the same team as well with Dana Cole Matthew for Glendon Enterprises. But DJ Reed comes home with the victory. All right. So the schedule, the next race is going to be January 3rd at Atlanta, the Active Pest Control 200. The day before that, the night before that, I should say, is going to be qualifying for that race. Tomorrow afternoon, and there will be a practice session. We won't be broadcasting that. Then followed by qualifying, and then tomorrow morning will be a final practice slash warm-up session. The, or tomorrow afternoon, I should say. The race will be 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. So, hope you all are having a great start to your 2018. We've got some DJ Reed. I know he's having a happier 2018. I'm Ryan Scali. You've been watching the NOFSRL Camping World Winter Series. See you guys later, people.